Hi fans, this is the Connie Mac World Series wrap up with Coach Carpenter, a recap from Ricketts Park. Game number 17 was UBC from Dallas, Texas and the Colton Nighthawks both had hopes of getting into the championship Friday as they may crown a champion later tonight here at Ricketts Park. The winner of this game would advance into the semifinals later today. The Nighthawks struck first with one run in the first. UBC answered with three in the bottom of the first, only to see the Nighthawks score six in the top of the second with a grand slam that provided four of those runs. UBC would cut the lead in the bottom of the inning by seven to four. UBC chipped away at the lead and made it a 7-6 ball game after three innings in and a fourth. The Nighthawks would score four more runs to take an 11-6 lead, and Colton added four more in the fifth. UBC, who had a tremendous comeback yesterday, did not have the same magic today. They fall short by a score of 16-10. In this game, these two teams combined for 28 runs and 29 hits. But again, it's the Colton Nighthawks that will make their way into Championship Friday. Game 18, two strong teams faced off in this one, and two teams that nobody needs an introduction to. It was the Southern Cal Renegades and the Florida Legends. The Legends lost their game to the Midland Redskins 4-3, who posted a comeback in the seventh of Game 12. The Renegades lost to D-Bat in Game Number 16 as D-Bat outscored them 6-2. The Legends struck first, scored four runs on four hits. Renegades took a 5-4 lead after three, extending the lead by another run in the top of the fourth, only to see the lead disappear after a four-run inning for the Legends in the bottom of the fourth. Three of those came off a three-run home run. All the scoring they needed took place in four innings, and the Legends win this one by a score of 8-6. They punch their ticket into the Final Four and Championship Friday. Game 19 was a battle of giants of the Midland Redskins and D-Bat and a battle of the undefeated. Midland scored first with one run in the bottom of the first inning and added three more in the bottom of the third. D-Bat cut that lead in the top of the sixth with a mammoth home run over the left field fence, made it a 4-2 ball game. But it was great pitching that did D-Bat in as Midland wins this one by a score of 4-2. So Midland will go into Championship Friday as the only undefeated team. Games and matchups are set for Friday. There'll be three games at 11.45. It'll be the Florida Legends and D-Bat. At 3 o'clock, Midland will take on the Colton Nighthawks, and the championship game is set for 6.30. Now, the biggest issue to remember about the championship game is if Midland does get beat, there will absolutely be an if game, but they'll still have to play that game at 6.30 tomorrow night, and there will be an if game Saturday. So there's a lot of things that can still happen here today at Ricketts Park, but we could crown a champion of the Connie Mack World Series, so we invite you to tune in to each and every pitch here on KSJE. This has been a Connie Mack World Series wrap-up with Coach Carpenter, a recap from Ricketts Park.